connection to the phantom failed. So, you know, I had a bit of problem setting up the Wi-Fi wi range. So what I did is I went to the manual and on page 22 Okay, you find the answer guys for, you know, it's a lot, of, I actually did a search online, there's a lot of people uh, talking about this uh, Wi-Fi range or Wi-Fi repeater setting up problem, so mine is actually charging here, but, you know, all I did, because nobody should start the concrete answer, all we need to know is actually on a guide, which a lot of people say guides are for idiots, but, you know, we go online and we see how many idiots are there trying to figure something out themselves, when they need to do is just read page 21 and page 22 how to link your iPhone Wi-Fi repeater to the camera on the drone so all I had to do is basically download the app so download the app is pretty pretty straightforward I put it down uh, on this video and the first thing before you open the app you should do we take this off is we're gonna turn the drone on One, two. Okay, now we turn the Wi Fi repeater on. And the last thing we do after all this is link, so we wait for the light on the repeater to start to flash because it's not flashing yet. So, yeah, it's actually, there it goes. So it's now flashing. Okay, can you see? Yeah, it's flashing. And now the next step is on iPhone or you know if using the, again the Google phone you need to go to your apps and open the DJI Vision app and when it's open so you can see uh, I haven't I'm not connected to the Wi-Fi repeater yet so I'm gonna get out of here and I double click and close the application go back to settings and the settings are going to go to Wi-Fi and now I'm waiting for the DJI, there you go, Phantom and it's connected, now I get out of here back to the app I just want to make sure that this on the top says Phantom okay, it's after my uh, Wi-Fi repeater S I SSID code okay so this is some videos I did already on the test but let's go to camera now we wait a few seconds because this is live feed so live feed always has and there you go so it's now recording my phantom okay so it's a couple couple of seconds delay but you can see on the outside okay it's now recording I think I get a good picture but yes it's pretty pretty much set up ready to go okay now how do I connect it the problem is it's pretty simple so if I go back here let me open the toolbar Okay, you can see there's no GPS yet, but he's looking for it. So the start recording button is there. Let's go to settings. So again, the manual is also manual. Either, either, it is up as well. So to help you through the steps, let me turn again this off. open that up again and if you go to settings instead of you going to camera you can go to settings and once you get to settings just go right the way down where it says binding once you get to binding you open the binding it's all connected all bit needs to be connected you then scroll down where it says new camera and then you scroll down until you find scan QR code now this QR code is either in your box or you can scan the QR code twice that is in the need the aircraft. 
so the QR code that is there okay so if you scan that QR code after everything is connected the system automatically connects to the camera so there was pretty pretty easy afterwards but only after reading the guide instead of going to <laughs> to the internet well, there you go so I'm ready to go out find my GPS's and get my first flight going so let's go back to the settings back to camera And there he goes, you can see he's still filming. The camera is now linked, everything is linked and ready for to be used. So there he goes guys, let's go outside for the first flight. Once again, I'm Janunz, please comment and to subscribe. And I see you in the next video about the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus. Bye bye for now.